Go. Okay, Michelle, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you a few things, a few tips that I use for uh, straightening up carriages to help them roll better. I always found these things on the, especially the older A1s, this was the way I'd have to adjust them. First thing I want to check is the chatter for the front, car front of this carriage. Believe it or not, this carriage can be, one of these can be higher than the other. Even though it's perfect, it should be bolted perfectly, but it still can have a twist in it like this. So the way I would do that, I'd roll the machine all the way back. It probably won't show up so much with an IQ on it. It's got a lot of extra weight on here. But what you're looking for is one side chattering like this when the machine goes all the way back. If you had one side chattering, usually it was always this side here that would chatter a little more. If you had one side chattering, I'd have to take actually take a 2 before or a board in between here and twist the high side down. So if this was the high side, I'd put a board in this way. I would twist this carriage a little bit until it would quit chattering. And what that causes is when one side's higher, when the machine rolls forward, then one of these wheels is going higher than the other on the machine, and that causes a lot of wobble that way. Okay. The next problem we run into is the axles. So the way I would fix these axles is I'd always set my wheels to the lowest spot all the way around. So, and what happens with the axles underneath the machine is they actually get X'd. What I mean by X'd is when you have two axles like this, they actually can look like that. And that's why you can't get your machine straight. So the way we fix that is we put all the machines down, we put all the, all the wheels down the lowest part of the slot. And then using the two bolts on the bottom, you have rubber washers in there. We would, I would loosen and tighten to make one axle go down. So I'd square up the one axle and then I would square it with the other axle by using the rubber washer inserts here and by tightening and loosening these bolts. And what I'm doing here, the tightening and loosening the bolts, as I'm making these axles if I was to bring this one up tighter and this one looser, I'd bring these all into the same 90 degree square plane where they should be, and then the axles, and the hope that the wheel should sit flat on the carriage stem. That it? That's it.